Welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be my will I buy it, my purchase or pass, whatever you wanna call it. I'm going to be talking about the new makeup releases and whether or not I plan on picking them up. This is a really helpful video for me to just get other people's opinions and also just kind of really speak out my thought process. I don't know how to explain it, but it really helps me with my purchasing decisions and I'm trying to be more mindful of what I am and am not bringing into my collection. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love it if you stuck around, but with all that, let's just get started. All right, if you're new to my channel, really briefly, I just want to address the background here. Um, I have been traveling for the last couple of months now. Most of you probably know that. So the background has been changing pretty frequently. Currently, I am in Spain at a dog rescue and there's 300 dogs here. So I just like to give the disclaimer because I'm doing the best that I can. Um, I can't make every dog stop barking. I'm filming very late at night. It's like 10 p.m. That's usually about the best time when they're the quietest, but they might go off. They might see a rabbit. They might see something. I don't know. I'm gonna do the best that I can and I am staying on site. They have like little apartments for long-term volunteers since I am here six weeks and that includes dogs. So they are here on the bed with me. This is Deseo and I have Joy here with me. I don't think that she's been in a video yet. She is actually adopted and her family, she's supposed to go to Denmark, but she had some medical stuff she had to stay for. Her adoption got a little bit delayed. So she got stuck in here which I don't think is a bad life for her. She she quite enjoys it. She's learning how to be a house dog before she officially goes to her forever home. So she's here and I have the door open because there's also Pedro. Um, he kind of keeps DeSeo here company. Normally it's just the two of them and I love having them. It's mostly their apartment. I'm just their guest. So they get to stay on the bed if they want to. But there's a lot of new makeup because it's been a minute since I've done one of these. I try to do them every two weeks, but it's been about a month since I've done it. And my gosh, I try to really kind of whittle down the things I wanted to talk about because there really is just too much almost. It's getting to be a lot. Clearly holiday is coming. I am not ready for it. So let's just get started. I kind of want to talk about some palettes first before we get into like the holiday holiday stuff. So the first thing is the Lightwork 6 palette from Danessa Myricks, the Freedom palette. It's $128. I am not going to be picking this up, but I do have to say like I love the concept behind this. If you did pick it up because it's available now, I would love to know what you think of it and if it's worth it. It's quite pricey, but this is like Pat McGrath pricing, but actually worth it. I'm anticipating that maybe her light work palettes in the future will kind of be the same setup where you can kind of make them little mini six pans. You can stack them really travel friendly and then you can mix and match. These colors don't necessarily draw me in but I love the creativity behind it. It just seems really well thought out. And if there's a color story I like, I'll definitely be picking it up. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. There's also like some other indie palettes that I want to briefly go through before we just get into like the holiday stuff. So the Adept release. This is called the Unity palette. It came out September 6th. Like I said, I'm pretty behind. It's $52 for the palette, which is not bad. Um, I'm like hit or miss on Adept. So while like I don't mind this color story, it's not like a 100% win for me. And I have other Adept palettes I'd prefer over this one. I really want to get the Flying Fiddles. That's on my list. So I'd pick that one over this. Joy is just showing off. She's cracking me up. Look at her. <laughs> you being crazy? 
It took her about a week to even get the courage to be on the bed. She would only be on the sofa for a while, so it makes me really happy that she she's brave enough to be on the bed now. Look at you, Joy. All right, she's gonna provide the entertainment for us. So this one I'm gonna pass on. It's just, yeah, there's other ones I want more. I do think it's really pretty though, and Adept has really nice sh shimmers. Cosmic Beauty, Cosmic Brushes, no, Cosmic Beauty, not Cosmic Brushes, has a new palette already. This is the Undergrowth palette. It is 28 pounds. I don't know what that comes out to, usually like around $35. This came out September 6th as well. And I didn't get the new trolls and the cool trolls, so I'm behind on Cosmic Beauty. I've really, like I said, been scaling back. So while I love grungy greens, I still think that I like the neutrals better. Like if I had to pick or rank them, like I would get the neutrals first, then the undergrowth, and then the cool trolls. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I, th I do think I'll pick this up only because Cosmic Beauty is fairly affordable and I find their formula to be very, very nice. So it's something that I'll prioritize more, but I'll probably pick up this one and the neutrals at the same time. I think the neutrals is out of stock, last I checked. So that's where I'm at with the Cosmic Beauty. Then Fantasy Cosmetica came out with a collab with Makeup Just For Fun with Amanda. This is the Enchanted Autumn Palette, came out September 13th, and it is limited edition. So I don't know how long it's gonna be out for. Of course, I don't have a price. I really like this. If you saw my video of the five brands that I want to try, Fantasy Cosmetica was on that list, and I think this is gonna be the palette for me. I really like, if you know my style, I like color, but I like kind of muted colors, and this gives me that. I really like the soft pinks, the purples. There is like some yellows and greens, but they're more muted, less saturated. So I think this is one, this is the one I'm gonna take the plunge on and I'm excited to, to see how the formula is because everyone talks about Fantasy Cosmetica and I have yet to try their formula. And sticking with Indie, there's the new Ensley Rain palette. Ensley Rain needs to really just give my wallet a break. I understand that they're just so popular right now, I can't, <laughs> I can't like blame them for wanting to continue with the launches and rake in the dough, but man, they're, they're killing me. So I don't have any launch details. It said it's supposed to come next week, but it is the Underland palette. It's Alice in Wonderland themed. It's 15 shadows, seven mattes, eight shimmers including multi-chromes, holochromes, duochromes, metallics. I do, I really like this. It's, it's a dark palette, it's a fall palette, but I think it's really pretty. Now, if I have to choose between this one and the Flutter palette, cause that's also on my list to get, I'd probably still get the Flutter only because I think I would use that palette more but I hope this one sticks around because there's something about it. It's like moody and sultry that I just really, really enjoy. I like this a lot. And of course I don't have the price. I'm sure it's very expensive. So you can count on Ensley Rain to, to have the high price tag. I do have an affiliate code with Ensley Rain. It's just Melissa. I think it saves you 10% something around there. So if you want to use it, you can, but still expensive with or without an affiliate code. And then now that brings us, I think to mainstream and to holiday. I think so. I think that's everything I have. So let's just start kind of with some new stuff that I saw today. This is available now and it's a collab with Hello Kitty and Wet n Wild. I think this is so cute. I love Hello Kitty. I'm a millennial through and through. Hello Kitty was very big when I was like in my teenage phase. So phase, my teenage era, you know, when I was a teenager. So I might pick something up from this just for nostalgic reasons, Wet n Wild's pretty affordable. So 
I probably will. I think I like the makeup sponge the most. There's lots of things. There's a sponge, a makeup bag, liquid eyeshadow, setting powder, highlighter, a, a few highlighters. There's an eye and face palette. There's a like multi-stick set. There's a primer. There's a lip oil. There's an eyeshadow palette. So lots of things to choose from a makeup brush set. I don't need all of it but I think I will pick up at least the makeup sponge, maybe the eyeshadow palette, the brushes, no. Either like the eyeshadow palette or the blush or something like that, just to have it. I guess it's their 50th anniversary, so that's pretty exciting for them. Hourglass is coming out with another palette. This one's kind of confusing to me. I'd love to know what you all think of this. So this is the Ambient Lighting Palette Dream Edit. It's $64. I do like when Hourglass does these little quads. I think this is perfect. This is kind of drawing me in. And I hate it because I, I, I kind of want their holiday palettes. I said I was gonna skip them, but if I can swing it, if like I can justify the price tag, I just might pick up that Dragon palette. It's really calling to me. But this one's also really interesting. I just like how it's a little bit smaller. I like that it has a highlight, a blush, a bronzer, and a finishing powder. It's the perfect kind of face palette. And three of the shades are new, including the finishing powder. So it's the bronzer that's a repeat in Lunar Bronze. So yeah, I'm kind of feeling that face palette. I know I don't need it. Like this is something that definitely I, I can't justify as needing in my collection, but it looks really pretty. It does look very pretty. Going from high end to low end, I'm just going in order that I have these saved, is these e.l.f. eyeshadows. They're like single eyeshadows. It's saying like potentially an Urban Decay dupe. I don't have a price on it, but it's the Finest Fleck Glitter Eyeshadow. Sheer Glitter Eyeshadow Topper packed with micro, micro fine glitter. And there's six shades, I think. Um, and it's coming soon. This is smart. I think this is super smart of e.l.f. Single shadows are in right now, just like minimal makeup. So people are kind of gravitating towards single shadows. These are really pretty and e.l.f. is so affordable. I think I might have to pick some of these up. I might have to. I want to pick some of these up because why not? Like I spend more on coffee than I probably would on these single shadows. So there's at least like three or four. I might just grab if they're, you know, three bucks. Like, okay, I'll try them. I'll give them a shot. I think that they'll be really pretty. And if they're Urban Decay dupes, like even better, I would love that. We have more collabs, of course. The collabs never stop. I was really surprised by this collab, actually. Um, this is the Barbie and Patrick Ta collab. So they're coming out with one of their blush duos in the cream and powder in She's a Barbie Doll and then a lip gloss in Malibu Dreamhouse. It says coming soon to their website and retailers. So it is, of course, like a hot, hot pink lip, lip oil and blush. And I do love that the blush has the little Barbie imprint on it. Super cute and thoughtful. Not a color I would wear, even though I love Barbie, but I can appreciate how cute this is. I guess I'm just surprised that Patrick Ta would collab with Barbie. It seems, it seems, it's just a little bit out of left field. I can't like pinpoint why I think that because luxury brands will collab with cartoons, so to say, but for some reason, I'm just a little bit surprised. I'd love to hear what you think. Now, holiday, holiday, holiday. This is not holiday. Let's go to this. I just wanted to talk about this because I think it's so cool. So this is from Makeup a Murder and it is the Kiss of Death Bloody Lip Oil. And it is available on September 22nd. So it's already released. It is like this dagger lip oil that looks like blood. 
Make Up a Murder has kind of, I've been following them on Instagram for some time now and their packaging is so cool. It's, you wouldn't imagine that that's my aesthetic and it's, it's not really my aesthetic, but I still think it's kind of badass. I don't know, something about it I just think is so fun and draws me in. Have you tried this brand? Let me know because they do have quite a bit of makeup that I've thought about buying before. There was an eyeshadow palette that I was very close to buying and I just never did. So this could be like a fun little gimmicky lip oil to have instead of an eyeshadow palette. I might get more use out of it. So I'd love to hear if you've tried it. Now, Glam Light. Freaking Glam Light. I mean, they just never stop either. They are also just like Ensley Rain. They just pump it out. So we have another collab with Glam Light and Hostess. I've never had a Twinkie, I'll be honest with you. I've never had like any of these kinds of products like the chocolate with the white center kind of icing. I've never had one of those. I do remember the commercial though with the shark. That's, that's a 90s commercial. Um, so this doesn't draw me in. I, I'm not like a Twinkies person, like out of these types of desserts, I really liked the oatmeal cream pies. Those were my favorite, but also I've never tried these, so who knows? Anyways, there's a lip mask. It's all lip stuff, so that's $14. There's a lip kit, a body butter, and you can get the full collection for $48. I think it's cute. It's just not for me. If you have, have had a Twinkie, let me know because I just haven't. It's just something I've never prioritized. We're getting through the list. The next thing I have is the ColourPop release, which is funny because I was just thinking a little while ago that we haven't seen that much from ColourPop recently. And then they dropped two things. So they dropped the After Hours collection, which it looks very Photoshopped, this photo that I have. Like it's meant to look like it has a multi-chrome in it, maybe, potentially, I'm not sure. Um, and it's $24 available October 25th. No, I think it's available now. This after hours. I think that date's wrong. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's available now. And then they dropped their collab with Stranger Things. And that was like, they announced it and dropped it. So I don't like that collection. I'm a Stranger Things fan and I'm just like not loving it. I forgot to save the photo, so I don't have it in front of me, even though I could probably find it really quickly, but I'll pop up the photo here. I just don't, I don't find the connection and I don't love it. I think that it's not something well thought out other than the waffle lip scrub. Like that's cute, that's fun, but the, the eyeshadow palette, I'm not seeing it. So I'll be passing on both of those ColourPop collections. And then we have another, <laughs> NYX is expanding their line for the, the glue thing that they had. They had like the glue eyebrow, right? Now they have a gripping primer called the Face Glue and it's $9, it's available now, and it looks like a glue bottle. I just find this really odd, I really do. Nothing about this like makes me wanna put this on my face. I get like the reasoning behind it, but it does not appeal to me at all. Like it just looks like Elmer's glue. I mostly just wanted to talk about this one to see what other people thought because I kind of think this is like a miss. I know that this is part of their line that they have, but I'm just not feeling it. So let me know what you think about that one. I just think it's very, very odd. Now, what else do we have that's not holiday related? I might just start, we might just start with the holiday stuff, huh? I think we'll do that. So first holidays sets that we have. Man, they're starting early. Do, does it feel like they're starting early or does every year we say they're starting early but it's really the same time? I don't know. But we have some sets coming out from Merit and there's a few of them. I mostly wanted to talk about the ones that 
potentially I'm interested because there's so many I could just never get through all of them. Merit's on my list of brands to try. I talked about that one as well in the five brands that I want to try. So that's what I love holiday time for. I'm not a, upset with gift sets, just to be clear. I actually, those are usually the things I'll stock up on because I would rather purchase three mini blushes like Merit has. There's um, three mini of their, what are they called? These things, the flush, the, the flush bomb trio. So there's three of them for $39. Instead of spending like full price on one color, I would rather spend a little bit more and get some different colors out of them. So I do like holiday sets. There's just so many to choose from and it gets a little bit overwhelming. There's also a lipstick set from Merit. I'll be passing on that. But the, the blush set, I actually think I will prioritize if it doesn't sell out before I can get to it because sometimes it does. Lawless also has their holiday 2024 collection. They usually come out with an eyeshadow palette. So this is the Dreamy Dozen Volume 2, $43. Um, I'm going to pass on this one, but it made me remember that they had the Dreamy Dozen Volume 1, the original one, and I really liked that one. I kind of, I'm kind of sad that I missed it. And then they do have their Forget the Filler Trio set that comes in minis for $27. And I bought one of them two or three years ago and I'm on my last one, I might buy that set because I really do like the forget the fillers. And like I said, I like minis. I like trying different shades. I don't think there's too much difference between the shades for the forget the fillers. I mean, unless you're going like from the clear to the really dark, but there's some very, very slight differences with some of the tones. So you don't necessarily need a huge variety when it comes to these, but I would like to pick up this set is what I'm saying. The MAC holiday collection is looking real sad. I think this is one of MAC's worst holiday collections in a long time. Nothing about it I think is cute, is pretty, is anything. It looks cheap. I get the gold for holiday, but after that, like this, I just, I think they did a really terrible job for some reason. Am I the only one feeling like this? It's all the same stuff, you know, like you have lipsticks, you have highlighter and eyeshadow palette, but really like you look at the packaging because the packaging is what stands out for Max Holiday collections because real cute, Joy. That's not cute at all. Max holiday collections, you buy for the packaging because usually they're the same shades in just different packaging. And I just think this packaging was lazy. That's what it is. I think it was lazy. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I just think it was cheap. Then we have Pat McGrath's holiday launch. I'm surprised that they showed the holiday launch and not a new mothership. I'm a little interested to see because usually we get a mothership around the end of the year. So is there going to be one this year? Did one already launch? Maybe I'm just behind. Um, this is already available. And so this is the Luminous Legends collection. And there's a mega eyeshadow palette for $76. And they're advertising this as like being inspired by legendary artists like they showed David Bowie who fun fact has the same birthday as me as well as Elvis, but I'm not seeing the connection between the two. This is very just typical Pat McGrath packaging. Nothing really like, I wouldn't know that this was a collab or like an inspir like inspired palette without them saying this other than the name. So I'm a little confused on that. Is there something that I'm missing from it? But there is a mega palette. There's some sets like a lipstick set, a lip gloss set. And then they have the quince that they've been doing for a while. None of these quince 
interest me. I don't like these color stories as much as I have past ones. Even the purple, I love purple, but this one's not it for me. I will say the duos are cute. That's new, that's smart, I think. Um, but I don't need any of them. I don't even know the pricing. Let's see. The duos are $25. Yeah, no. When you could get the the quint for 36, 10 extra dollars for three extra shades. So I just I'm just bored with Pat McGrath. Most of us are. I won't be picking this up. There's so much more that I'd rather get after this. More makeup sets is Summer Friday's holiday set with their butter bombs that everyone talks about. I've yet to try them. So another lip set that I can just add to my list of lip sets that I want. But this one I also think will sell out really quickly. A lot of times holiday sets do. So we'll see if I can get my hands on the Lawless or this one. It, this one's $25. So I think that's pretty affordable, not too bad. Gucci is coming out with their holiday collection. Like I said, a lot of holiday already. Um, this is coming soon though, so it's not already out. And I can't tell if this is repeat shades or just special packaging. At least with this packaging, it's cute. It's actually a little bit similar to the, the MAC with the gold and the red kind of detailing in the background. But this is prettier and I'm, I would, probably bet that it feels a lot more expensive than the Mac. So this is not something I'm going to pick up whatsoever, but I did at least want to shout it out. I think it's cute, especially if you've been wanting a blush or you know someone who's been wanting like a luxury blush. Gucci blushes are supposed to be really nice, so you can get it for them in like one of the, the cute packaging ones. Urban Decay is coming out with a lot of shit, right? I mean, I feel like every time I do a Will I Buy It, Urban Decay's in there. And there are always eyeshadows. So they're coming out with these Moon Dust quads and two mattes, two shimmers. Then they're also coming out with a different collection. Where did it go? course I can't find. So there's one in like clear packaging. There's the Moon Dust Space Cowboy Glitter Eyeshadow Quad. And these all have shimmers in them. Then the other quads that have like this purple packaging, they have two mattes, two shimmers. So they're really going on this space cowboy kick. They've moved on from the naked line and now they're on this moon dust space cowboy thing. Either way, I won't be buying it. It's just not something that I'm into right now. I more want indie palettes and stuff like that. Then this I wanted to talk about because I tried to pick it up last year and this is what I mean by sometimes the holiday sets sell out really quickly. This is the Makeup Forever Mini Artist Color Pencil Lip Liner and Eyeliner Kit. It's kind of expensive. It's $39 and it contains five mini eyeshadow, mini eyeshadows, mini lip pencils. I mean, they, they say you can use them for whatever, but most people use them as lip liner, but you do have a white and a black. It just has their three iconic shades. It has Anywhere Caffeine, Wherever Walnut, and Limitless Brown, plus the black and the white. So I've really, I've had it on my list to try for actual years, Anywhere Caffeine and Wherever Walnut. So it's like, I'm not sure how much they cost full size, but again, this is like one of those things, I'd rather get five different ones that are minis and have a variety than get one for you know $28 and have to pick. So I'm gonna try and get this this year. Last year I missed out on it, it sold out too quickly. So that's where we're at with that. After that, I have the Rem Beauty collab with Wicked. I've never seen Wicked. I'm sorry that I'm behind. So this is supposed to launch September 30th and it'll be at Ulta. Are you coming?
coming in here, Pedro. There he is. Come on in, buddy. Come on. Make your presence known. Yeah. All right. So there's a lip oil. There's a lip stain. There's a makeup set. Oh, there's two makeup sets, like the Good Witch and the Bad Witch. I kind of like know what it's, I know it's like a Wizard of Oz theme, but I don't know too much on what it's about. Um, it looks pretty, but Rem Beauty, REM Beauty, I don't know which one it is. They're just, they're on my list of actually brands I'm just not interested in. So not really knowing the IP, you're going to get in the way of my photo corner. Not really knowing the IP and not really loving the brand. This is an easy pass for me. Some luxury holiday sets. It looks like this is Dior's holiday collection. So they have two lines. There's the Dior line and then there's the Dior backstage line. The Dior backstage line, I typically don't love as much other than the foundation. I usually like their more traditional line. This year though, other than the highlight, I would say the highlight's my favorite. Yeah, I think the packaging's really pretty. The eyeshadow quince, I'm not interested in, which is really surprising for me. Dior can usually get me with the holiday and the special packaging, but this this time I'm not even tempted. So that's really nice for my wallet because there's a lot of other things that I've been wanting. Tarte is really coming in with all the launches. They always do. I mean, all year round, I swear, there's just like the same thing from Tarte launched a little bit differently. They're coming out with the Glow Squad Amazonian Clay Face Palette. Um, this is an all-in-one blush and highlighter palette to elevate your look and give cheeks an illuminated flush of color. I'm sure this is available now. Yes, and it's $45 each. You can usually find some kind of deal with Tarte at all times. I don't like this at all for some reason. So the thing is, like I like the Hourglass palette, but this one I don't like. I don't like it at all. So I don't know what it is. Tarte was like the first makeup brand I would say I really, really got into, but I just don't like this. They're also coming out with a ton of things for holiday. I mean, all these sets, you'll see the photo, but there's some blush sets, some eyeshadow sets, some lip sets. None of these really intrigue me. I really love my Tarte Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette. I recently talked about that and I shot my stash on how much I love it. I'm actually wearing that palette today. So it's not that I don't love Tarte. It's just that I feel like if you have a few things from each category, you really have it all. There's no reason to purchase five different eyeshadow palettes from them because they're just so repetitive in what they come out with. That's kind of my thought on that. Kosas is coming out. I think this is really smart. They're coming out with their mini blushes life trio. I think it's smart only because these blushes are fairly new. I think is like one of their last launches. It's $30. I think that's super affordable and it has three mini blushes in the set. So I don't really love purchasing from Kosas. I didn't have the best experience with them last time I purchased with them. So I'm not gonna be buying this, but I do think that it's a good set. For me, it purely comes down to like a customer service thing. So I'm not gonna say like, don't buy this. If you love Kosas and you've been wanting to try these blushes, I think this is a really good deal. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. And what else do we have? We have the makeup palette from ABH. There, I really like these nine pans from ABH. So this is the spice palette, the mini spice palette. And it's available now for $29. I think that's a really good price. I think this is really smart of ABH for once because I feel like they've been kind of not making the smartest decisions like when they came out that whole Norvina line. This is much more with the times. People want smaller palettes, people want simpler palettes, and this gives it to them. 
I think this is great. This is really cute. I could see myself like if I was in an actual physical store and I saw this, I could see myself kind of just grabbing this and adding it to my, my basket. I don't think I'd go out of my way to buy it, but I think if I was in a Sephora and I saw it, I think I would potentially pick it up. I think it's really cute. I like it a lot. It's kind of just a basic, simple palette. And then we have more lip product releases. There's been a lot of lip product releases, or those are just the ones that I saved. But this is the Maybelline Superstay Teddy Tint. They're releasing a new lip product. It is a soften matte finish. And that really called out to me because I really enjoy the Roman Blur Fudge Tint. Fudge Blur Tint. I always mess up the order of that. But I really like the finish of those lip products. It's one of my favorites. So it kind of sounds like it's like that. Very K-Beauty-esque. And I could see myself picking one of these up. Well, maybe not. I am kind of like on a lip no buy. I'm trying really hard to just finish up some of my lip products before purchasing more. But I don't know. This is the first Maybelline lip product in a while that's really intrigued me. I know everyone loves the lifter gloss, but this is that's what I'm into right now. It's like that soft and matte. And then I have two more things I want to talk about. The next one is the Lisa Eldridge launch. So this is the Fawn eyeshadow palette. And I don't know if this is out yet. I'm assuming that it's out because usually when Lisa Eldridge shows something, it comes out pretty quickly. So she's expanding her eyeshadow palette line, same format, magnetic, everything, but in the Fawn color story. I like this a lot. And here's the thing. I have all of the Lisa Eldridge palettes. I thought some were, were good, some were not so good. It's not necessarily my favorite formula, but for some reason I still wanna buy this. Uh, sometimes the luxury gets me. Like I feel like if this was just a Maybelline, a L'Oreal palette, I probably wouldn't be so interested in it. But because it's Lisa Eldridge, it gives me, it makes me do a double take. It's a very basic palette. There's nothing super special about it, but it is something that I just feel like I'm gonna purchase sooner rather than later. I don't know. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. Very basic, but still really pretty. So they're super expensive. I think they're like $60. So we'll see. We'll see if I end up purchasing it or not. And then the very last thing that I want to talk about is the new Milk Makeup launch. So they're coming out with the Hydro Grip Primer in a glow version. So it's the same, just Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, but this time it has illuminating light reflecting pearls that grips makeup for up to 12 hours, all the same stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm interested to see if people really like this more than the original Hydro Grip. It's already available, it's $30. And I think this was like a good launch for them. It's not something that I'm gonna purchase because I don't necessarily love glowy primers, but I am at least happy to see that it's not just a glowy primer, it's a gripping primer as well. So, well, maybe I take that back. Maybe I would purchase it if I wanted, if I needed a, a gripping Primer because I have tried that primer. It's really nice. I wouldn't say it's like my all-time favorite, but it would be nice if I'm going to have an illuminating primer in my collection to also have one that grips. So maybe I would purchase it. I don't know. If it came in a mini, I would give it a shot. But those are all the new releases that I wanted to talk about this, this week. I will be trying to do these more frequently just so I don't have so many products piling up on top of each other and then these videos become super super long but after this I will be back home so this is not the last video you'll see with all these dogs I have another week or so with them but this is my last will I buy it you'll see with them so so I hope you enjoyed their company they gave you a few laughs but this is where I'm going to leave you all make sure you let me know your thoughts on the new releases down below I hope you're having a great one and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.